Hi, this is Russ Buecher from Control My Nikon, and in this video we're going to take a look at how to record video using Control My Nikon. We're going to use a Nikon D7000 in Control My Nikon version 4. We're connected to a Windows 7 64-bit system. So I'm just going to click on Connect. Now all video recording must be done through Live View. So I'm going to turn on Live View and I have a test subject here. It has a little bit of motion. Now video recording is only available if you have a Nikon D5100, a D7000, a D800, or a D800E, or a D4. Now there's other Nikon bodies that record video, such as a D3 and a, a D5000. However, those were kind of an older way of Nikon recording video, and they were never supported for tethered video recording. Nikon just does not permit you to capture video while tethered on those bodies. But if you do have one of the cameras that supports it, you'll find here in Live View that this icon appears. It won't be there if uh, your camera does not support video recording. Now, a very easy way to just start recording video is to click on record. And it tells you it's recording here and this turns red. And then to turn off recording, you just press that again. And you'll see there that it transferred. I'm going to try another one. We'll record. And we'll stop recording. And you can see here it does the transfer. Now the folder I'm saving it to is C images. And this is the file name here, which is really just the main counter. We're going to take a look at these movies that we just captured. And here's the first one. And here's the second one. And uh, I'm just going to capture another one here. And stop recording. And you'll see it appear here. Now you can use whatever video review software you like to use to watch these. And I think I have Windows Media Player installed here that by default will show this video. And I have it on a loop that it's going around and around right now. And so that's our video. Now there's a built-in image browser in Control My Icon, but it does not show your videos at all. It doesn't even list them. So you must do this using an external application. Now, all Nikon cameras that do tethered video recording have .mov extensions, and this is really an H.264 video format, so it's very efficient, very high quality video. Now, let's take a look at some of the other things we can do when recording video. When you're in live view here, what you can do is just bring up the settings panel and go to image, and you can preview a cropping while recording video. So if I go here to crop and say, well, I intend to shoot a 16 by 9 video and in, during post-processing I will crop it to 16 by 9. Well, what you can do here is just go 16 by 9 and this is what it's going to look like in post-processing. It crops equal amounts on the top and bottom of the video. So this allows you to visualize what your video is going to look like. And we have some other selections here. We have 1.85 to 1. 2.39 to 1, like you might see in a movie theater. And I'll just turn my grid off here. Now, you can also use other features of the live view windows, such as exposure markers to see how your exposure is before you start shooting. And any of these other features. Now, you can also use the edges feature if you wanted to do a focus pull. And I'm just going to set this to be able to see my edges and this allows you to kind of sit back a little ways from your monitor and see exactly what is in focus. If you want to do a focus pull while recording video on an icon camera you must do it by just manually moving the focus on the camera and I'm just going to do that now. We're going to go from near far and come back to near. It's important when you're shooting videos that you set your camera into as manual of mode as possible for live view. And it varies on the different cameras. In the D7000, it's called manual movie mode. And you tell it also there to use AFS focusing. Uh, you 
want to turn off all your automatic focusing, leave autofocus turned on in the body and the camera. That does ensure that your camera during live view recording movie is not attempting to do the focusing itself because the focusing will hunt. Now you can still use autofocusing here and you can use the focus pad if necessary to also adjust the focus. And I'll just hide this, refocus it, and you're good to go. Now when you record, these lines that you see here and all the graphics that are overlaid due to the layers from the settings panel do not show up in your final video. This is just for a display on your computer only. Now you can also configure a keyboard shortcut to start and stop recording video. And here I have these two configured to do this. So that's it. That's how you record video in Control Man Icon. Happy tethering.